Russian Fairy Tales A Choice Collection of Muscovite Folklore By W.R.S. Ralston, M.A. Tales 2 and 3, The Dead Mother, and The Dead Witch Tale 2 The Dead Mother In a certain village there lived a husband and wife, lived happily, lovingly, peaceably. All their neighbors envied them, the sight of them gave pleasure to honest folks. Well the mistress bore a son, but directly after it was born she died. The poor peasant moaned and wept. Above all he was in despair about the babe. How was he to nourish it now? How to bring it up without its mother? He did what was best, and hired an old woman to look after it. Only here was a wonder. All day long the babe would take no food, and did nothing but cry, there was no soothing it anyhow. But during the night one could fancy it wasn't there at all, so silently and peacefully did it sleep. What's the meaning of this, thinks the old woman, suppose I keep awake tonight, maybe I shall find out, while well, just at midnight she heard someone quietly open the door and go up to the cradle. The babe became still, just as if it was being suckled. The next night the same thing took place, and the third night, too. Then she told the peasant about it. He called his kinsfolk together, and held counsel with them. They determined on this, to keep awake on a certain night, and to spy out who it was that came to suckle the babe. So at eventide they all lay down on the floor, and beside them they set a lighted taper hidden in an earthen pot. At midnight the cottage door opened. Someone stepped up to the cradle. The babe became still. At that moment one of the kinsfolk suddenly brought out the light. They looked and saw the dead mother, in the very same clothes in which she had been buried, on her knees beside the cradle, over which she bent as she suckled the babe at her dead breast. The moment the light shone in the cottage she stood up, gazed sadly on her little one, and then went out of the room without a sound, not saying a word to anyone. All those who saw her stood for a time terror-struck, and then they found the babe was dead. Tale 3 The Dead Witch There was once an old woman who was a terrible witch, and she had a daughter and a granddaughter. The time came for the old crone to die, so she summoned her daughter and gave her these instructions, Mind, daughter. When I'm dead, don't you wash my body with lukewarm water, but fill a cauldron, make it boil its very hottest, and then with that boiling water regularly scald me all over. After saying this, the witch lay ill two or three days, and then died. The daughter ran round to all her neighbors, begging them to come and help her to wash the old woman, and meantime the little granddaughter was left all alone in the cottage. And this is what she saw there. All of a sudden there crept out from beneath the stove two demons, a big one and a tiny one, and they ran up to the dead witch. The old demon seized her by the feet, and tore away at her so that he stripped off all her skin at one pole. Then he said to the little demon, Take the flesh for yourself. And lug it under the stove, so the little demon flung his arms round the carcass, and dragged it under the stove. Nothing was left of the old woman but her skin. Into it the old demon inserted himself, and then he lay down just where the witch had been lying. Presently the daughter came back, bringing a dozen other women with her, and they all set to work laying out the corpse. Mammy, says the child, they've pulled Granny's skin off while you were away. What do you mean by telling such lies? It's quite true, Mammy. There was ever such a black he came from under the stove, and he pulled the skin off, and got into it himself. Hold your tongue, naughty child. You're talking nonsense, cried the old crone's daughter. Then she fetched a big cauldron, filled it with cold water, put it on the stove, and heated it till it boiled furiously. Then the women lifted up the old crone, laid her in a trough, took hold of the cauldron, and poured the whole of the boiling water over her at once. The demon couldn't stand it. He leaped out of the trough, dashed through the doorway, and disappeared, skin and all. The women stared. What marvel is this? they cried. Here was the dead woman, and now she isn't here. There's nobody left to lay out or to bury. 
The demons have carried her off before our very eyes. Thus ends tales 2 and 3 of Russian fairy tales. Stay tuned for tale 4, The Treasure. Also, feel free to head to Weird Audiobooks where you will find many more selections.